Hello everyone, this is Zuki and today I'm bringing you a new painting video. I'd like to start off by saying sorry for the last uh, couple of weeks. There have been no videos. I've been dealing with a pretty bad cold and it basically shot my voice for most of it. So I've been spending most of the time just reading up on stuff and working on some, some boring shit. But now it's getting better and I'm basically back in action. And today I'm bringing you something a little bit different as it didn't really start off as what it ended up as. Um, but one of the advantages of streaming and also at the same time a disadvantage is that people have a lot of suggestions and ideas. And while I'm usually not open to taking them, because once you open those gates, you're pretty much screwed. There's nothing worse than backseat drawing. Um, this time it seemed like a fun thing to do. And I'm going to talk about streaming for a little bit because <clears throat> it's gotten to the point where I'm really having fun doing it. Initially, it started off as just something to do whatever outside the videos and whatever but the videos were the main thing but now i'm really getting into it because i managed to build up a group of people that are very faithful viewers and who also are actually quite a fun bunch of guys i've watched a lot of streamers a lot of art streamers some of them huge in comparison to me like i have 100 to 200 viewers usually on stream that's very little for creative it's not bad but still, in comparison to the people that have thousands of viewers and whatnot, it's uh, it's nothing. But <laughs> those other streamers, the art ones particularly, their chats, and this is just my thing. Some people might enjoy themselves, whatever. Uh, their chats are dead fucking boring. And that's one of the things that I don't have to deal with. Because this group that I have is very good at training other people into participating into the conversation. So much, as a matter of fact, that it's gotten to the point where we don't really ever talk about anything art-related. The only reason that there is anything art going on on the screen is that it's what I know how to do. Otherwise, I would basically just sit there and stare at the camera and we would be talking about the same thing. And it's actually funny now, it's kind of like semi-meme, really, that when someone says something about the art, one of the guys says like, Hey, look, guys, that guy's talking about the art. Let's laugh at him. <laughs> it's just, yeah. It One new viewers come and, and ask about, like, hey, man, what program are you using or what pencils or whatever? Did you go to art school? Like, everyone just laughs at them because it's, like, we, we don't talk about art here. You don't understand. Like Most of the time we talk about dicks, women, uh, picking up chicks, fucking sex dynamics, uh, just all sorts of X-rated or not topics gypsies politics you name it whatever life in romania habits all that shit it's entertaining it's nice and people seem to have a good time but <laughs> once in a while i do wish that the discussion would be art related but then i wake up and realize that nah that's never gonna happen it's basically like a four hour q a mostly developing into an actual conversation most of the time we end up talking about women and that sort of shit <clears throat> so it's quite fun but anyway, this stream started off as um, as a bug study. I've been getting into drawing actual creatures that exist in nature. And as useful as it is to know how to draw dogs and horses and all the classic farm animals and whatever, because you have to keep in mind the skeletal structure and the layering of the muscles and all that shit. Frankly, I don't give a fuck. Uh, and that's bad, but I, I'm aware of it. But it doesn't matter. The bugs, I mean, just look on Google Images at some uh, macro photos of insects. Their anatomy is fucking insane. Like some of these creatures look like legit alien. And it fits very well into the style that I'm very fond of, which is fantastical creatures with many legs and wings and arms and fangs and spikes and all that shit. It fits very well. And some of the color, com color combinations that uh, insects come in in nature is very... It's fascinating, really. It's, it's very... Uh, bright and some of the color combos aren't even standard like what you would see in concept art it's a very neat thing to have to broaden your repertoire in your head or in a visual library of uh, of creatures and stuff that you can emulate or incorporate so i wanted to make a, a bug study by drawing what is basically a huge fat wasp really um, not really respecting any sort of anatomy I saw before. I mean, it has a huge uh, spike there on the end, a stinger, and it doesn't really have the appropriate number of legs, I think. Plus, no no wasp actually has uh, those huge fucking claws on in the front, or that face, or any other part, but it doesn't matter, or those colors, as a matter of fact. 
but I just it felt like a fun thing to do and I wanted to make it into sort of a war beast concept like being ridden by a person and as I was drawing the guy some a couple of people started chanting Donald Trump so yeah I took I took his face and painted over it and this is something that's done a lot just like basically pasting a photo into a painting and then incorporating it by painting over it and into it <clears throat> making it part of the picture it's the first time I've actually done that with a face, but it seems to have worked out very well. And so I made it into this like kind of semi-patriotic picture of Donald Trump riding to victory with the American flag on the back there. And I had a, a little bit of a moment of weakness with that flag as it's fucking crooked and all over the place. But hey, it happens. Can't really do anything about it except do it again. But no, just no. So I'm not like a particular supporter of Donald Trump or anything like that. But it just seemed like a fun thing to do because he is literally all over the internet. Every tweet out of three is about something Donald Trump said or did. And it's um, like as much as the guy is fucking crazy, the one thing I have to admit is that he has personality. That's one thing he has other than money. And that's not something that I've seen in a presidential candidate a lot recently. Most of them look like they're made of plastic, like they're robots. But this guy, he just doesn't give a fuck, honestly. He doesn't give a fuck. And that's something that, as much as he is hated by most, it's something that you still have to respect. A guy that just doesn't give a fuck. There's something about him. There's just something about him. So I'm not, I, don't, I haven't really followed American politics much recently. I just kind of know like what Donald Trump is up to in, in opposition to the other uh, candidate, but that's about it. But yeah, this was a, <clears throat> quite a fun stream, and sometimes I guess it's, it pays off to listen to suggestions. Maybe I'll change my uh, principle on that one. Not, not soon, but eventually. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Please rate that shit and follow me on Twitch if you're interested in participating in our obscene and quite ridiculous conversations. The link is in the description and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.